So let's initialize our variable and we can do that obviously in the constructor of our form. So the first one after the initialize components run, which is a method that comes by default with the form and is placed in the constructor automatically. After that, we can initialize our own variables. So the first one I'm going to initialize is the game board field. The game board field obviously is a two dimensional array, so it's going to be a new game board field. And the size of it is going to be 11 by 11. So this gives us 12 by 12 elements. Remember, we start counting from 0, obviously. So 0 through 11 is 12 elements. Now keep in mind, again, that we will be only using 10 by 10 from the game board because the rest is the wall. But our game board field will hold all the fields, including the wall. So that's why 11 by 11. The next, we can initialize the snake xy, which is the array of the structure snake coordinates. So again, we'll have new snake coordinates. And this time, since it already has the x and y coordinates, it's a single dimension array. So the coordinates of the snake only refer to the 10 by 10 game board. Therefore, we can set the array to 100 elements, 0 to 99, which is obviously 100 fields. And last, we have the random. So let's create a new random for that. And now we are ready to start coding the logic. 